This week's news without the bullshit was made possible by Metal TV. WikiLeaks founder, Julian Assange, has been kicked out of the Ecuadorian embassy this week, which has landed him in the immediate custody of the UK government. Mr. Assange has spent the last seven years within the walls of the embassy in London after his organization launched one of the biggest government information leaks in US history. Julian Assange may be faced with a year in a UK prison and an additional five years if he is extradited to the United States. Critics of Assange claim that he put many lives at risk by recklessly releasing such huge amounts of sensitive data, while supporters argue that punishing a citizen for whistleblowing sets a dangerous precedent for others wanting to expose corruption or injustice. Meanwhile, Tiger Woods proves that he's still got skills. David Attenborough makes a shit ton of people use less plastic, and the first image of a black hole has been released to the world. In Sudan, widespread protests that have been raging since last year have finally seen results, as Sudanese President al-Bashir has officially been removed from power. Protests since December last year were sparked by rising poverty and unemployment, as well as human rights violations and corruption. The conflict has seen around 800 protesters arrested and as many as 60 fatalities, although, this week, talks officially started between government officials and protest representatives. It is currently unclear whether the new government will be controlled by the military or the civilian population. Moving on, millennials are probably being lazy and entitled again. SpaceX does more really cool shit that looks like it belongs in a movie, and the guy who kicked Egg Boy is charged with assault. In technology, China considers outright banning cryptocurrency mining as an energy-saving measure. Amazon reportedly hires thousands of people to listen to Despacito, and Facebook spends over $22 million to protect a suspected lizard man. Meanwhile, Apple is reported to be spending half a billion dollars on developing its gaming service, which is set to launch between September and November later this year. The service, which will be exclusive to Apple devices, will be called Apple Arcade and seems to be aimed at providing a service that promotes high-end mobile games. In entertainment, the 2019 Star Wars Celebration was held this week, which has released footage of the upcoming Mandalorian television show, a trailer for episode 9, and another for season 7, of The Clone Wars. The Star Wars game, by Respawn Entertainment has also been revealed, which sees the player assume the role of a Jedi, after Order 66 was enacted. Electronic Arts has marketed the game, as being a solely single player experience, and having no microtransactions, which seems to go completely against its company philosophy in recent years. Although, as history has shown, Respawn Entertainment is able to do incredible things when they are left to their own devices. Meanwhile, the last season of Game of Thrones has officially begun, Disney's streaming service will be $7 a month, and a Shazam sequel is already in the works. Time for a sponsor. It's late, you're playing a game, and you just pull off some unbelievable play. Naturally, you want to share it to your friends, but quite understandably, you just can't be fucked. Recording software can be unreliable, editing software is expensive, and 10 minutes could be better spent winning another game. Metal TV understands that there should be no barrier for flexing on your friends. You should be able to save your gameplay with one button and share it with a humble link. Simple, easy, and free. So try Metal TV. They give a fuck, so you don't have to. In other news, influencers, such as myself, us scum of the earth, and Nestle are living up to their dodgy reputation. Gave my love to a shooting star. She moves so fast that I can't keep up. I'm chasing. I'm in love with a shooting star. She 